As a poultry farmer, chances are that you have been missing a step in your poultry vaccination procedures. And the terrible thing about poultry vaccination is that even though they were produced, they were manufactured to protect your chickens, a simple error in the procedure can ruin the entire motive and maybe lead to an immediate problem of maybe vaccine failure or a prolonged problem on your farm such as endemicity, a situation where your farm now becomes a resident to a particular virus such that any batch of chicken you now bring in will just come down with a viral infection after a while. But don't worry, that's exactly why I'm here to help you correct those mistakes that you might have been making and might have been costing you on your farm. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to prevent this kind of failure. Yeah, there are a couple of reasons, there are a couple of errors that people make that lead to vaccine failure and all manner of vaccine problems on your farm. But in this video, I'm going to be addressing just one. And for that one, we are going to be addressing it in detail. I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm seeing in this video. Okay, so let's just start right away. I'm going to be showing you how to vaccinate as you should yeah the right way to actually do it and what you see me hold here is actually an automatic syringe yeah with this you can measure the quantity of vaccine you want to dispense into the bird you can see the tip of it there's a needle all right so and with this this part there's a calibration here where you can measure exactly what you i don't know if you can see clearly okay where you can measure exactly the volume of vaccine you want to be injecting into your chickens so when you want to vaccinate you need to like um get the needle and ensure that it is well positioned you want to ensure that it is well positioned on your arm no i'm not going to be doing that to myself that's just a joke all right so in this video i'm actually not focusing on the vaccine that you administer using the needle i'm going to be talking on oral vaccines just like this one that you can see here with me this is a sample of the Lasota vaccine for the Newcastle disease virus. Okay, and this is actually 100 doses. This is just uh, to demonstrate to you, this has been outside of the fridge, outside of the cold chain for a while, so it's practically useless. But as useless as I've said it is, it is still dangerous to your farm. You don't want to have something like this just lying around your farm. So maybe people have told you that you should not open this uh, vaccine bottle, the vial. This is called a vial. Maybe they have told you that you should not open the vial outside of the water you want to use to administer the vaccine. They have told you to immerse it into the water before you open it. So you open it under the water. But have they told you why? Yeah, don't worry. DIY is that guy that tells you the why. So this is DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So in case you're just watching the channel for the first time, you want to hit that subscribe button because subsequently I'm still going to be talking about other errors that people commit when they are administering their vaccine to their chickens. And this actually leads to lots of vaccine failure reports on your farm. All right, so without wasting your time, I'm going to be showing you why you should never you should never open this outside of the water. All right, so let's start the demonstration right now. I have the two mil syringe over here and I have this uh, bottle filled with water, as you can see. All right, so that's water. And I'm gonna be using this two mil syringe to get out some, maybe about 1.5 or so mil of water gonna be getting out just a little water I want to demonstrate something to you so just some water this is just about one meal the volume is actually not important what I'm going to demonstrate to you is this vial that you're seeing here is actually vacuum sealed so we have a vacuum inside of it and it's just trying to suck in anything from the outside I'm going to show it to you now once I push this you know this is a rubber seal over here once i push this needle in i'm not going to press it before you can get water out of this you need to press but i'm going to be showing you how this can actually suck up anything from the outer space so that is exactly why you should never open it outside of the water that you're using because it's capable of sucking up contaminants in the hair and you want this vaccine as active as you can get all right so i'm going to push this in now and you see how the water will rush inside without pressing the tip of the syringe 
okay watch closely you can see the water is in it sucked the water in that's exactly what happens if you open this the vacuum inside is just trying to suck in whatever is in the outer space so that is what you get you just might be contaminating your vaccine if you open it in the outer space and also you don't want any part of the vaccine any part of the viral organism that has been prepared into this vaccine to get into the air you don't want it to get into the chicken environment that you will not be disinfecting because you wouldn't know you just believe okay i've handled the vaccine and i've given it to the birds but you didn't know that part of the virus has actually spewed in the environment and you know you have just created a breeding area for the virus to begin to grow you are treating the virus you are preventing the virus in the birds but in the environment you are by yourself just loading your environment with the newcastle disease virus and that is bad that can lead to endemicity in your or uh, on your farm you may just be encountering problem of newcastle disease on your farm from time to time because at that point the virus is not only in the chicken house it's just everywhere on your farm and another thing that can lead to that is actually the way you dispose the way that you dispose this vial after use you should ensure that you either burn it or dig the ground and make sure you bury it under the ground uh, and before you even do that you should pour disinfectants into it so that you know you try as much as possible to neutralize the power of the virus inside here so if you think you have gotten value from this video do well to hit the like button and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel do well to hit that subscribe button until the next time peace